Greetings and salutations to you all, my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming, and welcome back to Throwback Thursday and Borderlands, which survives one more episode at least. But yeah, I'm, uh, I think a lot of you realise that I'm kind of getting a little bit exasperated with this, and also the feedback i'm getting from this show uh yeah it doesn't seem that a lot of people are enjoying it either so perhaps this isn't a very well loved game after all but we're going to continue a little bit see where we want to call it last time we defeated sledge which seemed a little bit anticlimactic in my opinion like i don't get why that guy was the main boss because his minions and cronies were way more tougher than he was so i don't quite get why they yeah he was the boss he was pretty easy to defeat to be honest with you as long as he didn't hit me once he hit me that drained my health obviously but before that it was fine he was pretty easy to defeat but anyway uh we're gonna carry on today uh before we carry on the main story i think i'm gonna clear a couple of the little bounty board missions uh again here around firestone probably in skag gulch skag gully skag valley one of those two uh three even just so i can level up a little bit more because apparently the main story is supposed to be level 18 but i found that even if you are level 18, if you're the level that the game says you should be at, it still seems ridiculously difficult. So I'm going to level up a little bit more, plus some of the new weapons that I picked up last time can't be used until level 19. So I think we're going to get ourselves up to level 19 today. I can also use a class mod, that's not till level 25, but... I got a new shield, right? Yeah, that I can't use till level 19 as well. So I'm going to move myself up to level 19, I think. And then we'll see where we're at from there. So I think we're going to spend today just doing one of the other little missions. And uh, we'll see where we go from there. I'm going to quickly loot around here. The boxes have respawned. Uh, top up on any ammo, see if I want to swap what my loadout wants to be, and I will catch you on the other side. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the lowest one, because it's level 13, which is the hidden journals uh, that we're going to be looking for. So download five log entries from data recorders in the arid Badlands. That's what we're going to be starting off with. I have taken two of my skills. I've decided to start moving over into the gunslinger side as well because I am using pistols quite a lot as well. So I'm going to move over here. I think we need to start leveling up our Bloodwing as soon as we get the chance as well. And then maybe look at some of the ones that we've already leveled up to see if we want to take them a little bit higher as well. I was looking at these ones and I'm not too... Uh, ecstatic on these right now. Nothing I'm particularly excited about. This one says I have a chance to penetrate shields, but um, again, I'm not too bothered about that right now as well. So we're going to start looking at some other things as well. These ones, I took a point in each one of these ones. So uh, my pistols now have a chance to shoot two shots at once and also increase my critical damage. So yeah. So that's what we've done, and this is what I'm going with right now. I've got my revolver, my machine gun, and I'm going to use Sledge's shotgun as well. Haven't been too impressed with shotguns right now, but besides my sniper, which I can't use until I level up anyway, this is the third most powerful gun that I have, something like that. So that's why I'm going to bring it into the rotation and see. But yeah, so let's get started. So it says I need to go behind me, is that right? Now, I'm assuming that the enemies are going to have respawned back here as well, right? Because they did last time, I think, didn't they? Or is that... Do I need to go out and round? Let's take a look at the map. Uh, where's the map? So... Right, yeah. So, I need to go out of Firestone. 
and then back on myself, don't I? That little area where all of the bad guys keep coming out of all the time. Let's just uh, loot these while I'm here, see if there's anything I can pick up. Just some money and stuff. One more there. Okay, right. So, yeah, we need to head back to the front, which means that all of that nonsense is going to kick off. So I'm going to let that die down and I will meet you back on the other side. Right, it doesn't seem to be kicking off as much as it does usually. Uh, these two chased me in here. But yeah, these, these guys didn't all... They didn't all go down and start attacking these guys and stuff and... Oh, right, now you're coming out. Right, so it might be kicking off now then, okay. Yeah, it's all kicking off, but they seem to be just coming after me. They're not attacking each other, which they usually do. So I'm not sure what's going on there they usually just attack each other they usually and i just pick up the the scraps but they don't seem to be a uh... right so yeah now you're coming for me again are you gonna attack the other guys or are you just gonna attack me no just coming in here again see not sure why they're not taking each other out anymore. Uh, that's annoying. That's even more annoying because that usually saves me ammo. But apparently not. Apparently we're going to have to spend all of our ammo doing that. Which is very frustrating. It's that's what I'm saying. That's the annoying thing is that you always have to waste your own ammo doing all of this nonsense that you've done like 17 times already. Oh, I might as well get something out of this at least. Don't need you. Yeah, that's frustrating. They're not taking each other out anymore, which is very annoying. Well, you guys over there. Hopefully, you'll be chill yeah see none of these guys came out which is a bit frustrating oh great and now see this is oh I hate this game oh, see now they're, see they're coming after me and they shouldn't bloody this, none of this went right. Right from the right from the off today, it's all gone completely wrong. So that doesn't look like it's going to be a good start, does it? Oh, bloody hell! All right, you're rubbish. Yeah, well, of course you will be because you're in a low area. So yeah, so I'm I'm guessing I need to go down here, right? Yeah. And you're going to come out from the fence, aren't you? I thought someone usually jumped out from the fence. No, I guess not. There's definitely something that goes on here. Where are you all? Alright, you're there. Anyone else? Where are the rest of you? There's going to be more. There always is. Right, I see you at the back. See, now hopefully, should be good. Because my weapons are far superior to this area if I can hit anything. Music's got very dramatic for not really any... Let's take you out that way. There we go. Nice and easy. Are we good? I think we're good, right? 
seems we're good. Yeah. Like I said, uh, this is a pretty low level area, so I should be pretty good. I don't need to mess with you. I'm not going that way. So, yeah, yeah. My my weapons should be far exceeding what this area has now, hopefully. Hence why this is a low level um, mission. Yeah, this one. I want to see this one. See, no, it's all crap, but the thing is, is I can sell this now. So, hopefully, should just be good for money. What's this one? Oh, it's the journal. Okay, I'll pick that up. Yeah, let's do it now. Janice, Doll Scientific Advisor, day one on planet Pandora. I have been assigned to this sector by my superiors to find evidence of abandoned alien technology, similar to that found by our competitor, the Atlas Company, in the ruins on Prometheus. Technology that many believe made them the superpower they are now. This kind of find seems astronomically improbable on a rock like this, but my benefactors believe in it enough to waste my considerable talents. I've only been here for three hours, and I already believe this planet will be the death of me. Scientists do not chase myths and legends. Okay, so the Atlas Corporation is the one with the the Russian woman that we were talking to last time, right? After we picked up that shard. She's the one that came on the radio from the Atlas Corporation. So there's another corporation here as well. It's not just the Atlas Corporation. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Dahl is uh, yeah, one of the weapons that we use, isn't it? So, yeah, that makes sense. Now, which way? So I can either go back down that way or I can go through that way. There's skegs there. So I'm going to go the other way. What's up here? Did I go up here? Is this Firestone? This is Firestone. Yeah. Oh, ah, okay. Why are there never enemies up here? Seems like this could be a very easy place to pick me off from every time I come back to Firestone, but apparently not. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, right, yeah. Let's... Uh, now I'm pretty sure this is where they're going to come out from the fence, right? They did last time. No? Yep, there we go. Yeah, I knew I knew that something happens here. Is it just you two? Nope, you as well. Oh, I didn't mean to throw a grenade. I meant to Yeah, I meant to do that, the melee. That's annoying. Wasted a grenade. Is that it? You all good? Cool. Right, okay. I need to go off in that direction. Okay, so... I can go that way. The skags. I'm more likely to trigger more skags that way if I go that way. So let's go this way. Uh, I'll pick you up and sell you. Might as well. And head off in this direction. Now, I could take the car. And that would probably lead to less of a ball ache. Because I could just drive. But the thing is... Is that those cars are really hard to drive. And I don't like them. So, I'm just going to have to shoot all of the things that I've already shot several times before and just go from there really so i will see you when we oh it's literally just there okay is there no one around i thought there would be people around but apparently not okay day 43 on pandora at least i believe it to be the 43rd day i've been here the moonlight cycles are difficult to get used to. The planet rotation day is over 90 hours long. The people that inhabit this salted dust ball are as ignorant as I've seen in this galaxy. When I attach scientific inquiry to something like the vault, I'm greeted with silly nursery rhymes and slack-jawed soliloquy about a man who knew a man who knew a man. 
They drift off into a stupor where I half imagine they're drunk or brain damaged and are unaware of my continued presence. If I believed in hell, I would contemplate how it compared to Pandora. Ironically, such a belief would align me with these Neanderthals. Okay, good to know. Uh, you're both awful, right? You're not bad, actually. But I think that Sledge's shotgun has more, better fire rate. 4.2, yeah, way better. Right, but I'll take you just in case. I can't pick you up anymore, so that's fine. But, um, are you... 560. I picked up some rubbish stuff, didn't I? Yeah, 147. So I can drop you, because you're awful. At least you're worth more money. So yeah, let's try that. And continue on our way. Now this one's a little bit further away, so I will see you when I get there. Ah! Problem. I need a car. I can't jump this. And I'm guessing there's no way up. From the other side, is there? No. Yeah. Balls. Uh, right, okay. So I need to either go back and get a car or run all the way round. I'm guessing they're just going to get further and further away, aren't they? So I might as well go back and buy a car. Right, hold fire. Right, here we are. We're back here again. Now, this was extremely underwhelming, the jump last time I was here. So, uh, let's see if we can make it a little bit more exciting, shall we? There's the rockets. Woo! Yeah, baby! There we go. That was a little bit more entertaining, right? It was, uh, like most things in this game, kind of underwhelming last time I was here. So, at least, uh, at least we rectified that little problem. Now, this one was full of people last time I was here, wasn't it? So... Let, might as well use the car and the rocket launcher to clear it out because last time I was here yeah see now this is the annoying thing as well is that why why didn't I find these um, these tapes last time I was here in the area because I was here before so why couldn't it just uh let me find them last time I was here. Why couldn't I already pick them up? Because they don't seem to spawn into the world until until you actually pick up the mission. Wow, you were really chill about a rocket just exploding right next to you. That's what you get for being chill. Maybe you should have been a little bit more wary of what was going on around you. Um... Yeah, the, the, that's the problem, is that they don't seem to... Yeah, I can't get around that rocket, uh, that rock. Things don't seem to spawn until you select the mission, which is a little bit annoying, because that, that, that detracts from non-linear gameplay, you know, which is a little bit frustrating, but... I mean, fair enough, I guess, but there are several things that are wrong with this game, that being just one of them. So, say la vie. But yeah, I mean, I was in this area turning on all of the stuff. You would have thought it could spawn the, the tapes in while I was here, right? But apparently not. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get past that rock am I no uh anyone else around here where are you I see lots of red dots but no one actually moving no that's just gonna shoot ahead Uh, right, okay, let's drive in a little bit then and take you out this way. No, get off of the bloody... Where am I being shot from? I can hear 
bullets over there. Right, okay. I mean, the rockets are pretty fun, but I don't really think that that makes up for, you know, the lack of the fact that these people have respawned anyway, you know? I mean, like, oh, isn't one of you on the roof? I forgot about that. No. Like, these are just barrels. Surely I should be able to just push them out of the way, right? Apparently not. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right, I'm pretty sure the other guys are up on the roof, right? Seems to be movement back there. I don't think I got him, no. Uh, right, I'm going to go around and find these other guys, and then I will meet you when I pick up the next tape. This is the 76th day. I was woken up, hoping I was having a reoccurring nightmare. We spent more than 36 hours earlier today relocating our campsite closer to our dig site, only to be ambushed by a local wildlife that's hungry coming out of hibernation. Half of my staff was eaten alive, or killed by skags. I survived by hiding under a colleague of mine who was being devoured on top of me. His name was Carl. My emotions are deadened, and I grieve for none of them. Point of fact, the only emotion I felt was that of joy. I felt joy because his chair was always more comfortable than mine. I took his chair, and then I noticed the emissive glow on the rocks at the dig site. Okay, so radioactive slash magical rocks uh, are making people go a little bit crazy right okay good to know good to be aware of uh now we need to head back over in that direction there so go back to my car and head over on there see now this is the thing i'm talking about with regards to linear story progression as well is that i came past this one to get here but this one didn't show up it wasn't available to get because I hadn't gone and got that one first which to me is just I don't know just it just it's just stupid that like I, I, I came past this way surely I could have known that that one was there before I uh, headed over in that direction come on where are you No? Okay, well done. You're very chill about rockets exploding this close to you. I'm very impressed. Right, now you're going to come out of here, aren't you? Yep. Just going to blow up some... Blow me up some skags quickly. Just trying to get some more experience I think we've cleared that out now so it's just up there but yeah I think we've cleared out what was here right any more gonna come out I can hear roaring nope okay we seem to be clear no worries let's just go up and grab this then shall we but yeah, you see what I mean about that? Like, I mean, I, I I, mean, I was just on the other side of this rock over here. Why didn't this one tell me to come around here and get this one while I was in the area? But, you know, whatever. Anyway, let's carry on. Day 119. I sat in the shower in tears for just under an hour. This is interesting, considering we haven't had water for days. I equate my ever-decreasing sanity with that of the population of my dig site. With the investigation of the symbols and glowing patterns at the site, we finally unearthed arguably certifiable proof of the existence of alien life having been here on Pandora. 
But this celebration was lonely, as I only have two colleagues left. And I'm not too fond of the fat girl, Shimei. I've been told that scientific discovery requires sacrifice, but I never understood what they meant until now. Okay, so, yeah, basically starts to deaden and kill your emotions, it seems, then. Uh, right, okay, on to the next one. Okay, here we go. Last one. Oh, no, wait. Uh, combat rifle stop. Okay. That must be another mission of mine then, right? Because I'm not sure why that would be there if not. Not sure. Okay, that's another part of a rifle. Okay. Is this the... Uh, this might be the uh, reward that I get actually for completing this mission. This that, that might be what it is. I'm not sure. But apparently... We haven't picked up the last diary entry yet, so I don't know why it would be giving me the reward now. Now, I didn't clear all of this place out. There should be one more guy left here, I think, because... Yep, there we go. Two guys left. anymore you go finish him off because no no of course you can't oh my god you're so bad just this guy this guy right here there we go thank you bloody hell how hard was that stupid bloody bird right um yeah i don't know apparently i haven't finished the quest yet so I don't know why it will be giving me a reward just now but I mean we'll take it as we're going along I guess but this should be everyone should be taken out now so we should be safe I shouldn't have to worry about that at least now, you're not very good. Oh, class requirement. Soldier. I'm guessing I'm not a soldier. No, I'm, I guess I'm a hunter, right? It's worth a lot of money, though. So let's see if I can drop something that I picked up just to get some money. Uh... 861 560 yeah that was that was it wasn't it that was the only thing oh uh 223 yeah we'll get rid of you then and we should be able to pick you up now right yeah there we go okay okay well I, even if i can't use it it's worth a lot of money so it was worth picking up but the thing should be here somewhere. I'm guessing I need to go further back. Yeah, I don't know if those rifle parts were like a reward. Oh, God. Are you gonna... Right, okay. Well, apparently you're here. So we can get ready. Whee! Whoa! You freaking out, buddy. Bye! Whee! Any more? Are you gonna come down as well? Because if you do, that's very annoying. Because I don't like you guys. Oh crap, yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let's get back undercover. Because these things don't do well undercover, do they? Uh, need to change uh, to the machine gun, don't I? Oh, wait, oh crap, you do come undercover. Okay. Okay, I didn't think you were gonna. I didn't think you guys could come under here, but apparently you can. They still. I think I got them all. Right, okay, I think I got them all. That's good. Now, 
Does that mean I can top up any? No. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, I think I got them all. Okay, that's good. That was, uh, yeah, had the wrong gun out to be taking on a whole pack of them. That was not what I needed. But we have leveled up. Where are you? I can hear you. Right, I think you're down there. Right, you're there. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, where'd you come from? Right, you go and protect me while I'm... Reloading. Yeah, I don't know where you came from. Bloody hell, you snuck up on me, you bloody bastard. Right, okay. Uh, don't know how many more are down there. So, just be wary of that. Ah, right, there's a route up here. I didn't know that. Right, okay. Right, I can hear more. But I don't know where he is. Wrong button. He sounds like he's off in that direction somewhere. Thing is though, is that enemies just seem to spawn on you. So I could be moving all stealthy and sneaky like this. But then these guys just pop into existence behind me and then start attacking me. And then it all just basically goes to hell then. So that's something that I need to be aware of. is just enemies spawning up your ass. So... definitely in this direction but I don't know maybe he's up there might be up there can you get up there I don't think you can actually so I'm not sure I don't see him anywhere and apparently it's right there so here we go there's a lipstick mark on it okay Day 172. The fat girl, Shimei, was crushed under an alien ruin that collapsed today. She didn't die right away and begged me to put her out of her misery as she choked on various fluids and bile. I hesitated because she was the last one alive that wasn't me. As she was choking and coughing and dying, I tried to enjoy the interaction, which I imagined to be a conversation, as I knew it was the last I would have for a while. I finally got around to smothering her so that I could continue my research. I could tell that she regretted the decision. The Skags have been waiting for this meal for a while. They will not go hungry tonight. Wow. Dark. That's a very, very dark turn. Uh, yeah, so there's something about this planet that makes you go a little bit loopy and a little bit psycho killery then so that's something to bear in mind do we really want to go searching for this vault if it's going to make us a little bit psychotic is that something that we want to do i don't know can i get up here yes okay Right, now, lockers don't usually have a lot in them, just money, yeah. Okay, uh, right, we need to go and hand this back in then. So, let's go get in me car and head back to Firestone, I'm assuming. Now that I'm back home and all done and dusted and my car is right there, 
that's when all of these guys decide to start fighting each other this time around. Which is very annoying. Because I'm pretty sure they're probably damaging my car. Not that the car stays there anyway. It despawns after a while. But see, this is the other thing as well. This is what I was saying. This would be the perfect time for someone to come around behind me. On that little catwalk thing that jumps right down into here. See, someone could sneak up behind me. But they're deciding that they don't want to do that, apparently. They're just going to try and funnel through this one little place. Which, A, I've blocked up. B, has skags. And C, I'm looking right at. So yeah, not very smart. Okay, I'm guessing they're going to try and come in now, right? Yeah, okay. So now I need to take these idiots out. Because they're going to try and get me while I'm doing the bounty board. So let's just get some of these guys down first. before, Because I can't remember whether they can hit me at the bounty board or not. I know that they can hit me at the vending machines. But I can't remember whether they can hit me at the bounty board or not. So let's just make sure that we're uh, taking care of business there first. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Right. Let's see if I can go pick some stuff up that I can sell. Because, I mean, I guess that this is free money at the end of the day, isn't it? So we might as well make use of that at least before I go and hand this mission in. I will be right back. Okay, I just sold those weapons and a whole bunch of new guys have spawned in and decided that they want to come and have some as well. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to have a couple more weapons to sell before I can hand in this mission. So, yeah, I will see you in a minute. Damn, just took on those extra two and they didn't drop anything. That's rather annoying. Oh well, let's uh, let's head on over and get this turned in then, shall we? Here we are. Uh, yep, collect that reward. Thank you for returning my journal recordings. I know that you listened to them, so now I ask that you apply blunt force trauma to your head until you forget what you heard. Those journals are private and personal. Yeah, I should say so. That was a... Uh, it was very dark. But there you go. Turn that in. Got some more experience. And we leveled up today. So let us see how that level up should go. I think I want to start increasing my Bloodwing, don't I? Because he's useless. So let's start trying to get him powered up a little bit. Uh, and now we can bring this sniper rifle into rotation. Which means uh, that's going to go in there and i'm going to replace you for that because yeah that's more powerful than that anyway and i need a fast firing weapon that's my most powerful one and now i can use the sniper rifle that i have which is good let us see how that looks okay so we're back to the classic one that we had before again okay that's good no worries fine with that Everything else, I'm pretty sure I can use that now as well, which is good. I can use this shield. So let's swap those two shields over. Because it's got a higher capacity, but a slower recha recharge rate. But this one does have the health regeneration. So I am going to keep an eye on that. I'm not going to sell this just for the time being anyway. Let's try these new grenades, see if we like them or not. And these class mods, I don't think I can use that yet. So I can't use that anyway, so I can sell that. And that I'm not good enough for yet. Okay, so we don't need that class mod. We can get rid of that class mod. And we got that level up, which is good. So, I think that next time I'm going to try and go and tackle the story. See if we're good enough to do that yet or not. If we are not good enough to do that, then maybe we'll do a couple more Radiant Quests to level up again. See where we go from there. But yeah, nice, easy, nice, quick one. Uh... I want to try and keep these episodes quite quick, I think, because A, I don't particularly enjoy this game very much, and B, it seems like from what I'm seeing 
on the website, uh, on YouTube, you're not really enjoying these episodes that much either. So, let's try and keep them nice and quick, nice and short, sharp, and we'll see where we go from there. But, want to thank you, those of you who did join me today. I certainly hope that you join me again next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. Este video ha sido una producción de Rich Key Entertainment. Para más shows geniales como este, no te olvides de dar clic en el link que aparece aquí para visitar todos los canales de YouTube. También puedes ver este video que sugerimos para ti. Muchas gracias. No te olvides de dar like y suscribirte para más contenido como este.